Right. As far as their players and having kind of signature heroes go, this is it for Secret. You've got the S4 Queen of Pain. They played a best of five against Virtus Pro or Aces Polo at the time the other day. He played Queen of Pain all five games. Puppy on Chen, Arteezy on PA. Zai probably the only player. Zai and Kuro neither, I guess not on signature heroes with the Rubik going to Zai, but heroes that Secret are going to be very competent on. Man, Rubik awfully is so bold. Especially versus a sniper. Well, is it going to be the safe lane sniper? It looks like it is going to be picked up by Envy, so presumably will be a sniper and Skyrath dual lane. Phoenix in the off lane, Fata can go mid and yeah, put you no tail bounty just roaming around that radiant jungle and annoying the Chen as much as possible. Still not going to be easy for the bounty hunter. I feel like the Bane is going to be the big hero for Secret where they're going to look to punish the bounty hunter rotations through the jungle. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is kill him once and then he just takes so long to get back that generally your channel will be out leveled and or out leveling the bounty hunter and have enough gold to repel him with more dust and sentries. Yeah. So it's all about getting that first kill. And even if you have to get sentries as well as dust at level one to do that, it they pay for itself if you get that one kill. Mm -hmm. The value for the bounty hunter is if you spend all this money and he manages to elude everything that you throw at him. So we'll see. Looks like a little toilet break coming out. That's Cloud9, ready to get things underway. Here we go, game two of your finals for the Europe group stage. You guys can follow along over at redbullbattlegrounds.com. But right now, we're going to talk Dota 2. Cloud9, going to be playing on the Dire side. We'll introduce their players and roster. It's going to be Bone7 in the offlane on the Phoenix. We've got Fata, your mid laner, playing Magnus. Misery on the Skyrath Mage. Eternal Envy on the Sniper. And that leaves Big Daddy no -tell. On the Bounty Hunter, Boots first for him with the ward. On the Radiant side, leading 1-0, Team Secret. Gonna swap things up, it's not Zai on the Rubik. He's back on the Bane. Bit of sneaky, sneaky plays coming out. Do you think that Zai's gonna support? Mm, we'll have to wait and see. We'll look at some of these other uh, players and items. Arteezy still... on PA, S4 on the Queen of Pain, Puppy on Chen, and Kuro on Rubik. He gets scattered out, he does have Boots first. Shrapnel not gonna slow him down as well. The Boots may allow him to escape this one. He goes with a lift, turns around and Walt looking to run away from this Magnus. He needs Tango's through. Will not do so. Phoenix gets the kill. Three shrapnels used, and it's well worth it in the end. As Cloud9 secure themselves a first blood. Meanwhile, to the side, Big Daddy No Tell. Boots and Shrukens looking to chase down S4. Although, just the shadow walk to answer Nice hyper aggressive play from Cloud9 taking down Secret before the horn. Curious to see what this Bane will be able to do in the air in this offlane. He it seems like he's just gonna get Kaida. Like if he's in a bad position, chase him down with Shrapnel and because of his super low range. But they have some plan. Okay, well bounty runes come up, Magnus and Queen of Pain get one apiece, and Secret do have the mid lane advantage as far as having that Queen of Pain versus Magnus matchup. Not an easy here for the bounty hunter to gank as well. Having a Queen of Pain mid just means this bounty is unlikely to be able to pressure this mid lane whatsoever. Sentry were already placed. Puppy just completely dodging. Okay, he's going to get scouted out though. This Phoenix is up here and... Oh, I don't know if he's been spotted just yet. Phoenix, yeah, he saw him and he wants to block the big camp. Does do so. Puppy's not going to be too pleased about that one. All, at this point, all he can do is try and maybe right click down Bone 7 some. But Big Daddy Notel also coming top. He says, okay, you're trying to avoid me. Well, you're not going to be able to do so. The chase is on, and Big Daddy no is not going to let Puppy get away with this one. He's even got boots, so he can just poke after Puppy and just chase him long and far. Brings out the safety, trying to burn down no mana, but he's not going to be successful. no -Tail may just look to chase Puppy down till his demise. Puppy without boots against this Shadow Walking Bounty Hunter, who does have boots. Misses one auto attack, but the chase still on. Shockwave not going to hit Puppy, going for the deny. No sorry. Big Daddy no -tell gets another kill. He's getting mana burned up now. This is going to be pesky considering he has no clarities, but another kill goes Cloud9's way. That was not an impressive deny from Puppy. He d I thought he was going to wait for the Windwalk to hit. He can just stand there and wait for the Windwalk. If he doesn't Windwalk, he doesn't need to attack the creeps. But set up an easy kill for Bounty Hunter. S4 sitting really low, but with the Sentry Ward there, should feel safe from the roaming shenanigans of No-Tail. And the Chen just, uh, Satie and Mind Seal are coming in continuously to burn down some of this Magnus mana, but Fata already has his bottle up, so should be A-OK, -okay. not to mention the two-minute rune coming soon, so that's going to be some additional regen for your Magnus. This Satie going to keep on. Oh, and the refill. Oh, wow. Bottle. That's some value. 
And Big Daddy Nutel, quad clarity build coming out. This is what you've got to do, S4. Ops obscure a bit. Now, this is just Fata trying to chew at chew through all his mana. He knows he's going to keep getting mana burns here in this lane, so he just wants to eat oh, through as much as possible. Up. Whoa. Who's going to come out on top of this one? Puppy's there, but he's just level one. Fata turns around with a shockwave, but there's your bottle from S4. Healing himself up. Puppy was actually the one holding it, so I think that caught him a bit by surprise. And Fata's on the run now. Blink available in one second, but he's not going to go chasing. Man, that bottle from No Tail actually really helped yeah. Kuro. Super vulnerable. Kuro dead. And, this. I mean, just no escape from him. I mean, <laughs> we talked about how difficult of a lane it is going to be for Rubik, and nowhere is easy for him. Well, the uh, support roaming bounty hunter has definitely paid off pretty well here in the early game laning stage as far as Cloud9 are concerned. Really helping them out. Mid lane S4 is just not having the best time. He's winning the CS battle, but Fata just one secure shockwave away from a kill here as S4 is constantly low on HP and no tail nearby. Can't really go through this pathway without getting too close to the town. Yeah, he gets spotted out. S4 will just blink back to safety, but just being forced out of this lane is uh, enough in itself, it feels like. How's Puppy doing? Mm, puppy is doing not too well. He's level one. Has a TP and a Sentry Ward, and oh, guess what? Big Daddy No-Tail's found him again. Has a Soul Ring recipe and everything, so... He's going in with a Janata slow, and he tangos up, just so he can maybe go for a Tau Deny, but not gonna dive too much further. Puppy does have a TP scroll, maybe he can draw the Bounty Hunter onto the opposite side of the map, and then TP back to his own jungle, but that's a tall order. They also do have an Observer Ward up in Secret's jungle, to make sure Puppy doesn't get anything. He's not stacking any of these camps. He hasn't really got any catch-up farm available. He's harassing the mid lane with a Wild Wing Tornado, but ultimately Fata's doing pretty well in this mid lane. Has his bottle coming back, so he'll be able to heal up his HP and mana, as well as refill that bottle if he wants to down at the bottom rune. And Offlane Sniper looking to get punished. Kuro pinging out on him. Arteezy is at half HP, but there's two heroes coming in. Oh, here comes No Tail. Arteezy has a blink escape if he needs it. They're going to go on Kuro instead. Oh, it looks like they're kind of undecided on this one. Kuro now gets slowed up. They're going to... Who are they actually going to go on? Arteezy becomes the new target. Just level one on the blink. Doesn't have it anytime soon. Envy gets low. Chen, the t one TPing in. That's a level one. Chen, don't know what he was planning on doing there. Sniper did kill the PA, the shrapnel. Finishing him off in the end. Nice play from Envy there. I didn't expect that shrapnel would kill him. C9, 4-0. In well. this early game, no tail. Oh, yeah, he is playing so well in this bounty hunter. Keeping Puppy irrelevant. Getting so much done here. He's got another TP scroll, and he may just TP back towards the mid lane and refill Fata's bottle, or bring back Fata's bottle, if anything. Just be expedite the courier process. Since that mid lane does give him easy access back to the lanes, and he wants to keep on, keep tabs on Puppy, make sure he doesn't get stacks going in the jungle, and look to catch up on farm through that. Zai's the only one doing well. 31 CS with a soul ring to boot. What an odd hero to have as your, your solo. He's crushing the Phoenix, so 32-18 CS to the 12-0 Bone 7. Yeah, that's the Enfeeble at work. Enfeeble, yeah, and just Phoenix not really very good base damage to begin with. Deep Observer, what's coming out. Cloud9 want to remain aggressive and make sure they have vision and knowledge of what Puppy's up to around this mid lane. And here we go, No Tail coming in from the side. May look to that pressuring Puppy once more, but I think more than anything, just want to be making sure he doesn't get stacks going. He can swoop in and cancel this stack if he wants to. And it looks like that's going to be the play. Oh, there we go. He'll swoop on in, block the stack, and just keep Puppy's life absolutely miserable. Yeah, Puppy knows he's there, though. There's no reason that the spawn should be blocked unless yeah. there's a bounty hunter or a ward, but most likely bounty hunter would be the one to place Bounty may just come in and <laughs> take some of these last hits if he really wants to. Get that... Big Dark Troll Summoner, Puppy doesn't have detection, has no tail spotted out, and if he wants to, he's going to go for this. I don't see any reason not to, he's got another Shadow Walk to get out, so easy last hits for no tail. Alright, Sniper, They're assassinate. doing even in terms of levels, though, so it's not that bad for Puppy. Yeah, I guess from that point of view, both your four position players have kind of been negated. Arteezy at bottom lane, TP's out from a gank. Oh. Okay. Smart move from him. I thought at C9 we were going to wait for the assassinate to come up, so he can't make that play. Yeah. 
Well, and it's the TP succeeds and he gets out mid of there. Mid mid. Yep, lift up. Fata brought down. There's your Sonic Wave gank and Kuro finally gets secret on the board. In a much needed way as well. Well, looking at No Tail, he's out of clarities. And one thing to look at, as much as C9 were kind of controlling the early game, it's actually a gold advantage going Secret's way. Experience dead even, so... The graphs are telling a story where neither team has much of a lead right now. Problem is for Secret is that a lot of this farm is on a Bane, who is not really a conventional hero to get this kind of a farm on. But he's crushing the the Phoenix so hard that I think it's actually worth it for yeah. them. Two points in, and normally you'd say, okay, got two points in Feeble, but could whoa, hurt whoa, later whoa. on. What's he going for with the chain mail? Is this a blade mail? Bane? Mech, maybe. I'd say more likely a mech, but we'll see. I guess Chen's your mech buy, but Chen is not getting a mech anytime soon, that's for sure. So. We'll see what the build is going to be as far as the pain is going. It's almost like the, the old school Bone 7 in. build. Yeah, Arteezy blinks in on Misery. There's a lift available, but I think with the TP, they decide, let's get the hell out. Unfortunately, what they don't realize it's just a level 2 bounty hunter, but uh, then here comes your sniper. That's awkward. They need shuriken toss badly. Yeah. And bounty hunters have been spending a lot of time trying to nullify this uh, Chen's effect, but Puppy's actually out-leveling the bounty hunter right now, and they wasted so much time. Yeah. On top of that, Queen of Pain gets a kill. Yeah, the Fiend script from the Bane at bottom lane kills off the Phoenix, and... It, it feels like Secret are getting enough out of the lanes. Arteezy's not really farming too well on the PA, but PA's a pretty good hero to fight with even when you're not free farming away. Just with the stifling dagger, the blink strike, you can get a decent amount done. I still wonder what this chain mail's gonna be. I think a mech would be pretty good. It would be pretty cool to see a chain mail though. Or, sorry, a blade mail. It's like the... Yeah, the old school Bone 7. Blade Mail's on profits and stuff on these in heroes. I mean, Bane's a tanky hero. That's one of the big criteria for going Blade Mail is you want to be fairly tanky to begin with to get max value out of it. And with 1k HP already, this is not a bad idea for a Blade Mail. Arteezy's salving up. He's hurting in terms of levels. Yeah. Mid. Oh, just asleep. Casual sleep. Yep. Into a brain set. Shruken finally out for no tail, so that's the good news for him. He scouts out Puppy with a big stack here. He's probably going to look to Leech XP on this one. Although there is a Radiant Sentry Ward nearby, so actually decides not to. Decides to go back towards the mid lane and... Oh, that's a big... He didn't actually see the stack. No, oh, he's just... Because of the Sentry Ward. Yeah, he was just nearby and got scared off. So Kuro nearby as well. Second Sentry coming into play. To make sure that this bounty does not come anywhere near things here. So Puppy gets some catch-up finally. So get him up to level 4 in a bit. Puppy... Actually wants shares to share XP with Kuro, yeah. What a jerk. Kuro's Kuro. bind. Yeah, that's the thing. Secret are very behind as far as levels go, but it feels like they're being matched by C9. You talked about Bounty Hunter being behind. Similarly, your Rubik's Smoke, behind. Misery. Oh, they're going to get revealed from the high. Oh, big day. No tail. Walks into his eye. This is a tanky Bane, though. He gets silenced up. I don't think he's going to go down to Mila for this. They need the Magnus here for some additional damage. There's your Brain Sap. As the Stifling Dagger slows Misery more. One more right click could be all it takes here. RP catches just Zai. In comes Arteezy with a shrapnel in place. I don't think this is a fight secret. Want to take underneath that shrapnel. Blink out from Arteezy. Queen of Pain shows up. Sonic Wave Scream gets dodged by the Phoenix Egg, I think. Actually, no, Phoenix was just on about 5 HP. And PA goes down. The Supernova pops. And Queen of Pain forced out. That Phoenix at about 50 HP when he popped that Supernova, according to the little health bar at top. So close. Wow. Well, unfortunately, they were not able to get anything out of the Bane right there. And as you said, yeah, you have a lot of uh, farm concentrated on your Bane, but he wasn't able to do anything in that 3 one situation. There's going to be a Blade Mail coming out. One of the better items against a Skyrath, because it's not like Skyrath can really prevent you Blade Mailing his damage once he's thrown his spells. It's definitely unusual. I, mean, I, still, I, I can't even theorycraft if that would work or not. We'll see. That's why you gotta play test. Okay. Smoke, three man, Kuro, Arteezy, and Zai. I want or Envy. Do they have? Envy's farming a bit too well for Secret's liking. Well, relative to. Oh, Zai actually turns around and grips Misery at the tower. Oh boy, that's gonna be two going their way now. Misery. Man, that smoke was. If it had come two seconds later, Envy wouldn't have died there. And if it had come two seconds earlier, uh, Misery wouldn't have died. So just perfect timing for that. Yeah. Well play from Secret. They're going to look to turn this into the Tier 1 tower as well. S4 going to just nuke down the wave as fast as possible. And this will be some much needed just gold going the way of Team Secret, especially on heroes like the PA, the Chen, 
the Rubik. Both teams with very underfarmed supports, and even some of these core heroes. The Phoenix struggling on the dire side, but the PA struggling even more as far as Secret are concerned. But getting the first tower of the game so important. Secret will get a kill. Zai will pick it up, and Phoenix goes oh, in. Assassinates on Arteezy. He's done for. Skuro going to go down as well. Just got too greedy trying to finish off the T1 tower. He should have gotten out sooner. And Zai may be in too deep here. Sniper with no shrapnels available though means that's not going to be any kill potential on your bane. P is so poor. He needs more HP. Well, as four, doing very well in terms of farm. Three and zero. Highest net worth in the game. Smoke from Cloud9. As Fata as well as Misery are going to look to continue to be aggressive. S4 is the ideal target for this. Oh, there's a newly acquired Blink. Well, Blink RP with a silence. They kind of overlap the RP with this, but it does amplify the damage, and that's all it's going to take to bring down the Queen of Pain. S4 brought down by a nice smoke gank coming out from Fata and Misery. And it looks like Queen of Pain did spend all of her gold before dying. Okay. Not the end of the world there. No tail now at mid. Gets ganked out, they have got dust as well for him. PA gets the kill, Arteezy says, thanks, I needed that. Bounty Hunter struggling for level five, let alone level six. Puppy is farming peacefully yep. for once. He's got his level five and halfway to level six, so at least that's some good news for him. So Bane was owning the Phoenix in lane, but Phoenix with those couple of kills just bounced right back from that atrocious laning phase. Blade Mail has been picked up by Bane. 1100 HP with Straight Treads, and then add another 300 with Brain Sap, and then maybe a couple hundred with Chen Heal, and that's a lot of damage potentially reflected. Although Phoenix doesn't really care because he has ultimate. Hmm. Sand and Shrapnel, and Blade Mail back. <laughs> <laughs> Next level strategy. That's the thing with Phoenix. It's like he doesn't actually need to get good farm in lane. It's all about the levels, and then you can either come back in the mid game through team fighting or just offer a lot to your team, even with. I feel like a, a Phoenix with 1500 less farm at 10 minutes in does more than a Bane does with the extra farm. However, the Phoenix does not have a Midas escape. Most of the time yeah. we see Bone 7 on the Phoenix, he gets ridiculously farmed. Like a Tranquil, Midas, Yules in 15, 20 minutes? But this time it's probably going to be like a 20 minute Yules. He really wants to rush it against the Orchid that's going to come from S4, I guess. Mm. I mean, he can still get gripped though. Yep. So, just be careful. Grip, Telekinesis, there's still yeah, plenty of options as far as keeping this guy in place. Rubik at mid, now level 6, has stolen just Shockwave to give him some X-ray wing nuke damage, some wave clear. Fada's RP is up in 2 seconds. Let's see if he tries to make a play with it. He does have a TP scroll. They really would like to kill Quap, I would say. Quap or PA are the primary targets. Blade Mail Bane. Yeah, we haven't... Still, I'm still watching him. <laughs> When's the Blade Mail coming to play? He's actually maxed out in Feeble, by the way. I, we, we saw him with just two points earlier on, but this is potentially a pseudo way of dealing with the sniper. If you can get to him. And people's got a pretty big cast range. Yeah, I mean, he has 121 damage, so he'll be flinking you for one this, damage. It's actually kind of crazy how big that enfeeble cast range is. So from that point of view, I think there's a... I mean, with how, he, he pops a blade mail and runs in. No one wants to attack him while he's blade mail. This is the strat. You blade mail, you run in, get the enfeeble off, and <laughs> they can't stop you enfeebling because you're blade mail. <laughs> what a strategy. Unless you get, like, ancient sealed, I guess. Or, or shrapnel. He doesn't want to shrapnel. The blade mail's there. <laughs> he's too worried about dying. Actually, speaking of sniper dying, he's got over 1k HP with a Sanj Ring of Aqua build, so. Hmm, going for that damage control build. The Pycat build. Yep. I, I mean, he's ahead, though. I don't think he has to go that build. We'll see. Once he gets to S I, I, get, I assume it's going to be just an SMY, but we'll see. Fata Bottom. now. Ooh. Skewing a Roshan and a TP out. Hmm. Not even being chased by Secret. They assumed he had Blink Up, but if he had Blink Up, he wouldn't have skewered. Mm -hmm. We'll see 9 just playing things at a kind of slowish pace for the time being. They've got about a 2,000 XP lead. Gold favoring Secret by about 1,000. Kind of no difference between the two teams as far as the actual overall graphs go, but where the farm is is the big problem for Secret especially, I'd say. Yeah, PA is sitting at number six, and on top of that, C9 finally have track online, so they can try and widen this gold lead or actually swing it towards their favor by getting some trap kills. And Fada 
Bone 7 smoked up, looking for a kill. And they're gonna catch out the Rubik. It's a track kill. Yeah, well, let's say track track's a big thing that, there. Oh, I don't think they got track off. Did Danny you? wasn't there. Oh, he wasn't. Hmm. No track. So I mean, at this point, if a Rubik tanks a smoke gank, it's not the end of the world for Secret. They'd rather Rubik than the PA or someone again. But opens up this mid tier one tower for the tank and Queen of Pain pressuring the bottom lane. But Sniper gets the tower and they're going to look to defend bottom lane. Well, he's thinking about running in with a uh, with blade mail, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He does have point booster, so. Oh. Fata went for an RP, but the blink fell a bit short there. So he's tanking up now. Point boost is Ags, or do you go Bloodstone? The Ags is pretty sick. The only problem is they have a lot of ways to stop it without him having... Um, and without them having to attack him. Oh, no tail. Okay. Gets spotted out by a sentry, and S4 takes the free kill. That's his Orchid coming up, too. Probably didn't need to use the Sonic Wave if he had that before. He is raising a pretty tight pickle right here. Mm, gonna slow on him, no Fiend's Grip coming there, pop your blade mail, now we're talking, Zai runs in, where's that Enfeeble, throw it out on the Sniper, he's gonna self Nightmare, now he's gonna Enfeeble, no he's gonna go for the grip, but it gets cancelled by a Skewer, only Enfeebles now, it's too late for that one, should have Enfeebled sooner, Puppy on the front lines, but he's used his, he his heal, but it's gonna be a death to Bone 7, the blinking from your Magnus, Making some plays happen, Fata. Oh, he has Supernova on Kuro. Oh, can they protect the egg? Doesn't look like it. Oh, the Sniper, S4. Just forced oh, to blink out. That. Assassinate will follow S4 out. Puppy actually gets the last hit on the tower. One more blink out will help S4. The Blade Mail Bane. <laughs> he does a point. If he enfeebled the Sniper, it would have been... You know, you may have one damage on your Sniper, but you still count as a hit on the egg. Mm, doesn't well, it, it was a Rubik egg, so you're not really thinking that far ahead. Like, you're not planning for your Rubik to steal Supernova. In fact, I think that's the first time I've ever seen a Supernova steal in Pro Dota because of how hard it is to do since it stuns and you have dive as well as fire spirits. Normally, as soon as you come out of the egg, you just cast fire spirits if you're in a team fight. Yeah, I, I, how did he steal it? Hmm. I don't know, Bone 7 maybe just got orchided as soon as he came out or something. But yeah, that was an interesting little fight. Slightly Cloud9 favored. I think it was a 4 for 3 in the end. And yeah, we're seeing the gold graph dip down a bit towards their favor. Arteezy's in Struggle City. Yeah, this is not looking fantastic for him. He's up to 1,500. Do you think just like the Treads Homo Dominator build coming out again? Treads BKB. I mean, this is yeah, definitely a BKB game with the Shrapnel, the Magnus nukes, the Skewers. He, he keeps getting nuked down at Skyrath, yeah. Phoenix in particular owns him. Because he only has level 1 Phantom Strike, so he can't counter the Fire Spirits by constantly Phantom Striking. Now, into the enemy jungle go Cloud9. They see Zai as well as your Chen. Bane pops the Blade Mail, not a target they want to go on. S4 did not Orchid Fata, but they get the grip on him. And Fata now locked in place, brought down. There's a Scream, Sonic Wave. The Egg becomes the new focus, and Cloud9 going to lose three. The Blade Mail. Oh boy. S4 still chasing. No. TP for 38 seconds. Misery just gonna look to hide in this little nook and cranny. There. Size pinging him out. They gotta go through and check though. I don't, they may have seen he had a TP and just assumed he used it, not realize, realizing it's on cooldown though. So it seems that Misery will be kept alive for now. Not worth that checking every grip. little spot. Why, why didn't they? S I guess they wanted to kill the Quap, but if they had silenced the Bane, I think they would have owned. Regardless. I mean, you silence him, you don't want to kill him, though, because he's got that blade now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I wonder if this is a bloodstone or what, what? What is exactly does, is the Ags up If you attack him, you get Nightmare, I believe. I've, that's going to be a cool little change. I have to double check, though, because I have seen it, like, one or two times. Misery brought down with the help of the Orchid, as well as a Brain Sap. Big Daddy no -tail. Gets in a deep Observer Wood here. Not being counted just yet. Sent sentries are available on Puppy's Chen. Okay, I'm looking it up. <laughs> I need to refresh on some of these ag Ags upgrades that you never see. Increases damage per second, mana drain, and duration. If an enemy tries to attack Bane while he is channeling Fiend's Grip, they will instantly have Bane's current level of Nightmare inflicted upon them. So pretty good against the Sniper, at least. I suppose, but they still have a Yule's Skewer, yeah. RP, Shuriken, Ancient Seal, Yule's on Phoenix. You BKB Ag Scepter it up. 
BKB eggs would be good. The only thing at that point is AP, but hey. or or just BKB and right click them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Unfortunately, it seems like there are a lot of counters. I actually, yeah, that's that's a lot of counters. Well, you, you've enfeebled the sniper. That, that's the play, surely. <laughs> yes, he needs like a blink though. I think right. He looks like he is going for uh, ogre or ogre club into scepter. Yeah. All right. So a quick pulls coming out. As uh, Team Secret, 22 minutes in, pull ahead once again by a small little margin here, but experience also going in their favor for the first time, but still feels like a much closer game after that game one broodmother walloping that we saw. This but is cool to see something different. I mean, the, the Bane offlane, we've seen teams experiment with a lot of different offlaners, be like the Sand King for Yoki, we've seen the Rubik from him as well, the Earthshaker in the offlane, but now we get Bane. An unusual one, and one that it just doesn't make that much sense on paper. And do you he, think it would have worked if he was against, if he didn't have a one v one? Like if he was against the sniper Skyrath, what would this pain be able to do? Not that much, but then Artezi gets free farm. Yeah. Okay. Which the problem is, does the underfarm Bane do as much as the underfarm Phoenix? Apparently, I mean, he he seemed to have like more farm, and he didn't no. do as much, so probably not. I think Phoenix and Bane are kind of similar in that they both don't need farm so much. It's more they need levels. But if they get farm, they can make... I mean, we've seen the Blade Mill actually help out a bit. Mm -hmm. We've seen like a Phoenix with a Yule Scepter definitely is a pretty useful item to have. So I think Phoenix, though, falls off as far as items go a bit faster than a Bane will. Yep. Sniper going for the SNY and Mask of Madness okay. and not immune to the Blade Mail effects. <laughs> Snipers do not like to go BKB. That's do not. But if you hit hard enough, you can just life leech. Yeah. Now, Bane and Feeble can't be purged. Does that include BKBing it off? Correct. So you can't BKB off in Feeble. But you can just BKB preemptively because he has no mobility items. <laughs> like, you can't just <laughs> let a Bane walk into your lineup. I mean, if he's running at you like a... I guess if he, yeah, if he's walking into your entire five man, chances are you're killing him off, so... And then he's doing 1,600 damage. <laughs> That's worth it. It's worth dying. I mean, 1,600 damage spread between five heroes, maybe. That is worth. Okay, well, we'll see what the next move's going to be. RTZ, working on a battle for you. Going for the farming item this game. Catches up no tail. And they got the detection. Here comes Kuro with a dust, and they'll bring him down. They've been doing a good job of keeping no tail under farmed. They can't keep they can't afford to keep him alive in fights because then he'll have track gold and then Cloud9 will outscale them into a later game. They're still trying to play the catch up game and PA needs to get her farm on, but it's not gonna happen if Bounty Hunter keeps getting track gold and track kills and if he has like Battle Fury, you're gonna have like BKB, S and Y, Maelstrom, MKBs and all this all yeah. this uh, all these items that he doesn't want to have to deal with. Cloud9 smoke up but it's just going to Roshan. I was about to say smoking without your bounty hunter for track doesn't seem like the ideal way to do things if you're not getting track money for a kill, but it's a smoke into Roche. And power on your sniper means he's getting a lot of bonus damage and bringing down Roshan fairly quickly. This seems like a Roche secret will not be able to contest. It's slow though. Not that slow. Well, secret's still far away, have not even made a move towards the pit. Even with the fresh BKB on the Queen of Pain, it seems that they're somewhat unawares. Only now they're teeping towards mid, but too late. Envy picks up the Aegis on Sniper. Time to kite him. I think they can probably kite him with like Sleeps and Enfeeble if yeah. Bane can actually get into there. It's a, a lot of it is on Zai, since he is so farmed. And so far it's been pretty good. Even just being a distraction, we're going to see a blink in with a silence. There's a defensive Yules. Your Magnus went for this one. He picks up an RP, but it's too late. They lose the Phoenix and the Magnus to a blink. Coup de Grasse coming out from Phantom Assassin. Four dead on the Cloud9 side, and one of those is the Aegis Sniper, who's about to respawn and die once more. Eternal Envy gets surrounded, brought down, and that was not a friendly arrival Man, coming Quap, out of that Aegis. Quap is so scary to play against when you're Magnus, especially when he gets a BKB like that. I mean, we talked about how Quap had a decent amount of farm early, and then she was, you know, not getting too many kills, but now that she has Orchid and... Uh, Orchid and BKB, she can just completely control the Magnus. Blink right on top of him, she casted Orchid, Magnus tried to counter by Yules, and then he went for an RP, but BKB met, did zero damage to the Queen of Pain, and then everyone fell like flies. Yeah, the sniper is the only physical damage they have to, 
like hurt the Queen of Pain during that BKB. But yeah, but he went a tanky build, yeah. right? He went a tanky build, and the rest of Secret can deal with the Sniper. That if you're RPing just the Queen of Pain, that's where your Bane, your Rubick, with their control can deal with the Sniper. At least throw him up in the air and keep him locked in place. And more importantly, the PA with abysmal items is actually getting back into the game. Oh, Battle Fury, yeah, yeah. Now. complete 700 gold, and I mean there is like Chen heal and stuff to keep him alive, but. I think Cloud9 need BKBs to deal with the blade mail and everything else that they have to throw at them. It does feel that way. Right now, Arteezy farming in kind of dangerous enemy territory where he will be scouted out by no-tail, but... Fata certainly needs a BKB. Envy, probably. Looks like Fata's picked up an ultimate orb. Is this going to be for a Lincolns? Mm -hmm. Or a Hex? I'm not sure. I th is Lincoln's that good here? I don't think so. The Orchid or the Bane? I mean, there's a lot of, like, telekinesis. I think it has to be a Sheep, because if you were scared of the Quap, he would go Shadow Blade or, or actually, probably not Shadow Blade, he'd probably go BKB. But if he just wants to kill the PA or kill the Quap before they pop their BKBs, that's what the Sheep is for. But he has to be able to get yeah. the jump on them. Maybe to help out a teammate from, like, a Fiend script or something. I mean, he has Yules from the Fiend script. Scary, but yeah, I... I Totally agree. It seems much more likely to be the Scythe of Vice at this point. That does help counter the PA evasion, so... Could be Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Magnus. That would be a first. Seems like a Battle Magnus, man. I've seen Dandy do it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta get the, the Mask of Madness and stuff first. And then this straight Scotty with no... I guess it maybe gives some attack speed, but... Arteezy still slightly poorer than Bane, but Bane is keeping up with the rest of them. Oh, he's going BKB, farm. not Ag... At least for now, going okay, BKB. Casual point booster, yeah. He can go back for the X top lane. Orchid coming out on Phoenix. Hasn't popped the Yules just yet. Nice telekinesis means they'll bring him down. And Kuro gets a stolen RP off on Skyrath Mage. Well played. Kuro managed to set that one up. And Is Arteezy getting BKB after? Um, On the PA. PA, probably. He's got 1k gold. Hasn't bought anything just yet, but we'll have to see. What he just needs to survive be. these fights because yeah. he can outscale the sniper even with uh, Empower on the sniper's hat. But half. And Kuro's Rubik having up. Up he expires. He must have stolen that the last fight, which helped turn things around. And blade mail. Oh, blade mail inside the shrapnel. Stri does use the RP, but S4 will blink in and finish off one more. He wants Envy as well. The BKB from S4 gets some backup from Kuro. That Fable with a Mask of Madness doing a lot of damage. Now the Queen of Pain gets sent back. Four Cloud9 heroes taken out for kind of two in two separate fights here, but. That one was a two for one. The and blade mail is doing work. It, yeah. it took the sniper down pretty low, and Magnus was like, oh, what I do now? However, Big Daddy He's trying to get yeah. a track kill. Kuro, don't see him getting out of this one. He's going to turn in summary. Just do as much damage as possible. I'm not going to find a way out of that one. Chen just split pushing using his creeps. Throws out the triple tornado as they do the little bird dance. Wave those wings. In comes Misery, just to defend this bottom lane. Man, Misery's so poor. Two no talismans. Queen of Pain working on something with that Hyperstone. AC? Actually, I don't know. She doesn't really need the armor. Mjolnir for more damage. I think Mjolnir is much better. Mjolnir on your Bane? Okay. <laughs> have, have him just <laughs> be a lightning blade bomb. Out. Oh, boy. That sounds, that sounds like a fun way to play a Bane. Not often do you get to run in as a fr frontline tank. That's the Bane, but maybe that's going to be the case here. But now that he almost has BKB, he can just BKB and then grip the Magnus, and that's it for Magnus. Like, they can't stop him. He's too tanky to die to the right click from Sniper. And Magnus is kind of the ideal target yeah. anyways. He's the one you want to kill before he pops the RP. And if he RP someone else, you could just BKB RP or BKB grip the Sniper, and then what does Sniper do? Yeah. I mean, it is nice having a, a farm Bane. He, can, he has a lot more leeway in his positioning. All right, well, for Bounty now... Bounty Hunter are go on, going for a Lincoln's... Uh, is it a Lincoln's? I'm not sure. It's, it's he has a Perseverance for some reason. Refresh is not doing anything, and Battle Fury is, is not doing anything, yeah. so... Uh, I would have to say Lincoln's. <laughs> Casual Perseverance. That, that's he, the old school way you, some plays used to play. Do you see that damage, dude? The plus 10 damage? Yep. Multiplied by Janata? Whew. The value. He's hitting hard. The value. Mm -hmm. Not like he has unlimited HP and mana region from Tranquil Soaring. <laughs> <laughs> you can burst it. At that point, you're actually getting it for the plus damage, not the HP or mana region when you've got Tranquil Soaring. I mean, what else could he be get that would be more effective? I, mm, four stuff, maybe, but... Mm. 
They, I guess you could get another Yules, but... Drums, Vlad's, Aura, Aura Drum. Master, Bounty Hunter. Drums doesn't seem like a build anymore more these days, unfortunately. Yeah. Vlad's would be pretty useful for armor. Hmm, actually, it's not that useful, mm -hmm. huh? I don't know, there's no... BKB is usually a pretty good choice. Yeah. But then again, he's pretty far off. So BKB now picked up by the Bane. A secret gonna push the top lane. They've got all five up here, and C9 limited split push options available. They're headed down towards bottom lane, but almost BKB up on Arteezy. If he gets his tower, he will secure it. Okay, from there, imagine secret and just be ready to keep on pushing. They have a DD on S4, and they're gonna throw in the high ground. Force TP's back in Cloud9. They do just that. They're not scared of the RP. There was a two-man RP right there. But Kuro, look at Kuro's positioning. I mean, He's just right. Yeah, <laughs> Kuro's ready to steal it. Chen's ready with a send back. Do you really want to try and make that play if you're Fata? This isn't like that earlier game today where he'd just go for the like two hero RPs and pull someone back against NIP and try. This is why he needs BKB. If he gets BKB, he can do it not with impunity, but close enough. Yeah. Worried about the spell steal. I guess with a linkage, it means that there won't be an insta spell steal onto him. Yeah, but he can just fade bolt and, and then yeah. spell steal and then telekinesis, or uh, fade bolt then telekinesis and then spell steal. Uh, it's linkage is not a solution, not the solution. Sheep, however, if he blinks and sheeps the Rubik, but he had to have vision of the Rubik, which is not terribly easy, especially since Secret covered their tracks with an observer reward on that high ground. Mm. Envy MKB. Two thirds completed. That's good news. That is good news. Gonna help a lot against this PA. It means he doesn't have to rely on that scythe of ice from the Magnus when it comes out. Arteezy though has a BKB of his own, so as far as his ability to fight into the sniper, he's gonna be hitting level 16 soon to get that third point in coup de grace. S4, number one on net worth by a large margin. He's, and his items huge. have just come in at the right time, too. Like, his Orchid was, timing was impeccable. That BKB right at the Roshan pit was really good. And now he has AC on top of that. AC, very unusual build on Queen of Pain. I thought it was going to be a Mjolnir. Maybe scared about the BKBs coming out from C9 that are actually not coming out. I guess his Sniper in general will be sitting back, getting off decent damage, but... Does amplify the PA's damage with some of that minus armor and Yeah, but don't they need BKBs? I'm I'm still like wondering why they are not. Like on the C9 side. Yeah, th I, I think that Magnus desperately needs a BKB. So he can initiate without the Rubik owning him. Even just stuff like S4 I've seen so many times with an Orchid, you try blinking for an RP and he gets that fast fingers orchid on you before you yeah. can RP. Or even if you get the RP, you don't get the screw out because of an Orchid. I think the Yules is kind of overkill. I think having a BKB instead of the Yules would have been much better. Oh, he went okay. Lincolns. He, went, he did go Lincolns. So okay. the, the only problem with that is that uh, Rubik cast point is so incredibly low yeah. that it's probably one of the worst heroes to get a Lincolns against. And if Secret ever get vision of him, it, even if Rubik's sitting back, PA's in the front line, stifling dagger, Lincolns yeah. is broken. If he had BKB Lincolns, that would be a completely different story because then he's preventing grip or spell steal, yes. which yeah. both are which he's scared of. So difficult game for Magnus. Well drafted by Secret in preparation for dealing with a stacked Fada. Well, now, next I, uh, next point of contest will be this Roshan pit, it looks like. One minute about until the Roshan respawn, although teams aren't fully aware of exactly when this will be happening. C9 managed to deward above the pit as Secret smoked towards them, though, and C9 need to be careful. Sniper just spent all his money, will not have buyback in any upcoming fight. A lot of this fight is on S4. He needs to get vision of the Sniper and the Magnus and be a man with BKB. Oh, no tail. Do they not have a gem? I have oh. just asked. Kuro was not in range and definitely feels like time to buy a gem if you're secret. They they, they really needed that kill. Uh, actually, Bounty Hunter kill is not that important. So I wouldn't necessarily even set them up for to take Roche. Our, uh, C9 looks like they're wrapping around themselves with the smoke to the south side, wrapping around west. Secret aren't even Roaching right now, but... They are in a kind of vulnerable position where they could get caught out by surprise. No tell going to lead the charge with the Shadow Walk in. Uh oh. Sentry's available though. Puppies just picked some up, so. This is close. Smoke has about 10 seconds remaining. And all of Secret are running away and. They've got to, at some point, they've got to be suspicious that five heroes have been missing for too long. Where was the help too long. He, he ran the help air away from the pit. Mm -hmm. that's, that's an awkward pause. No okay. comment. <laughs> <laughs> You've commented enough on a certain player on this Radiant team. and 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no comment. It may just happen to be that same player who just paused. Well, at this point, it's too late, though, right? They, like, if they go in the pit, it's already going to be dead. 7,600 yep. HP left on it. Oh, could be. I guess, no, no, no. Yeah, with, Queen of Pain is way too yeah, far. Queen of Pain is the most important hero to have in this fight, it if, feels like, if as well. If he TPs to the T2 and blinks twice, maybe he can make it. But even then, that's, what, nine seconds at best? Yeah. So, PA... Picked up a point booster. We're going to see his Scardy come out. This is he needs HP though. That's yeah. that's for sure. Seems like a smart build to go for. Oh, coming back. The super lags. Not just super lag. Nice. Super lag. So, hopefully get things back underway fairly soon. Secret taking control of game two. This would clinch their spot here at Santa Monica for the playoffs of Red Bull Battlegrounds. They are getting very very close with a 10,000 net worth advantage. Do you think Roche actually means that much in this? I mean, we saw last time it didn't. If Envy picks it up, he doesn't. without a BKB, it doesn't seem to mean as much. It seems like it means a lot for Secret, though. Like yeah, oh, I think if Secret yeah. get it, they can just straight up win the game. But mm. from that point of view, it's important for Cloud9 to get this so that Secret do not. But Yes. I don't think it really changes the position C9 are in that drastically. None of these heroes with an Aegis is going to be able to do a huge amount with a second life. If Envy's dying once, it's probably because he's lost the Magnus and he's going to die a second time. Yeah. They don't all in on heroes, which is where an Aegis is really good. Yep. Let's see. Maybe they'll prove us wrong. Like, Castus Curse has been pretty real today and yesterday. <laughs> Hellraise has proven everyone wrong. Yeah. That's all fat. When we're talking about fat and then suddenly goes and like feeds like three kills, misses some RPs and... So I've been doing terrible today. Yeah. <laughs> Big brood mother wins in 18 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My favorite was the Fata one. We'd just been talking about him for like two minutes straight, and then he blinks into RP mid lane, misses the turn RP, doesn't get the skewer. They miss the arrow and completely blow the kill in that game against NIP. Oh, man. Can't get anything right some days. So, looks like it uh, should be pretty straightforward here as far as C9 taking out Roshan, and hopefully pretty straightforward as far as getting this game resumed sometime soon. Right click Roche, pick up Aegis. That's the plan. Don't see it going anywhere else apart from the sniper. He's really underfarmed, looking back at it. Sniper. I mean, he's, he's par on par with uh, Phantom Assassin, and Phantom Assassin was m struggling mightily. Yeah, Pierre was ridiculously far behind the sniper at one point. Pierre was like number six or number yeah. seven. She was in Poverty Town. And C9, some of these heroes really fall off the longer this game goes. I mean, looking at Bounty Hunter especially, he's just going to be a walking track at some point. I guess with the Lincoln's Fury, he has some extra added strategic benefit to his team. But yeah, but Chen has a mech. Yeah. He also oh, nice. has a scepter. You can't compare what Chen... Yeah. I feel like you'd much rather have the Chen than the Bounty Hunter He at wants this a golem. Man, if they have a golem. Oof. Bane, you got Fiend Script to go through BKB. It's a BKB Fiend Script too, so very hard to deal with all the count. What Cancel. I'm very surprised with is how Bane has been able to keep up his farm and keep up that, you know, 4th slash 5th territory that he was in early. Like, generally, yeah. if you think of a Bane and they do well in the lane, they, they tend to fall off because how does Bane farm? What are you going to do? Brain sap creeps? You, you have to stay alive and you get to get kills, which is not easy. 144 CS. It's not just kills that he's been getting, it has been actual lane farm too, beyond the lane stage. Because yeah, like you mentioned, back when there was a period of time where Bane solo mid was kind of popular, and the hero would dominate the lane, win most 1v1s, maybe get a kill or two, but then you flash forward to 30 to 35 minutes in, Yeah, if you don't have like Necro 3 plus BKB, you're yeah. useless. Yeah, your farm quickly can kind of trail off a bit there, so... We're not seeing it with this Bane. Bane about to hit level 16, and... It's getting a lot done, Zai. Some reconnects back into the game. And it looks like Bane will be picking up a Scepter post yep. BKB. And yeah, it's fine if you have BKB and Scepter. I think getting Scepter with their lineup is overkill. Or actually, it's just a terrible idea without a BKB. But now, if you have BKB, and especially with Sniper not going for BKB and being under farmed, it's decent. I wonder if the Scepter Nightmare applies to teammates. Like, let's say your teammate tries to attack you while you're Fiend's gripping. Not and you, sure. have, you have Shadow Strike on you, so you're in deny range. Your teammate tries to attack you. Do they get Nightmare? I don't know. Let's see. You the could Nightmare all, ten he all nine heroes in the game. Technically, that. it says enemy on the okay. tooltip, so... Who knows? Maybe that's a bug to explore. I don't know if it's a bug. I feel like that's saying that was not tested. <laughs> it was whether you could Nightmare your teammates during a Fiend's Grip. It's such like a very niche thing that could happen. Yeah, I mean, the chance of Bane's getting, Bane getting an Ags in the game is already pretty slim. Yeah. All right. Well, Bane, he's, uh, he's, he's looking like he will farm it, farm it this game. 
Elsewhere, you've got your Kuro Rubik, kind of the poorest of the secret heroes and, and the support. But, but he's still stealing RPs? It, yeah. it doesn't matter. That's that's the thing about Kuro's Rubik. It's so scary, even, uh, with or without farm. And at some point, he will have a Blink deck. He's sitting on 1,600 I mean, gold right now. He could sell now. his Soul Ring and his Magic Stick right now and get his Blink, so it's... He clearly doesn't want that badly. Not at the sacrifice of all his items. I the Tranquil yeah, Soul has been to. way more popular. I, I actually kind of like it. Because if you have Arcane and then you take like one spell nuke, like an Assassinate or Shockwave yeah. even, then you have to go home and heal or else you're just going to flop to whatever AOE comes yeah. your way. I think it was yesterday we saw one game with a Sniper versus the Chen. I think it was the Navi game versus Hellraiser where the Sniper, when they were pushing, just kept spamming Assassinate on Chen. And Chen would just be constantly on like 200, 300 HP. He has mm -hmm. no HP yeah. regen, so... It seems, yeah, it seems incredible. The HP regen seems incredibly valuable. It gives more movement speed than any other boots outside of Boots of Travel. Even when it's broken, it still gives... The Broken Trinkles gives more movement speed than phased treads, well, unfazed phased boots and treads and all that. It's good. It does so much sustain. Yeah. And, like, Arcane is nice, but if you're not 5 maining, Arcane is not that much value. It's also super expensive. Yeah. You, can get you never want to go Arcane as a support. You're only getting it because it's like the team really needs it. It's like yeah. it's like getting a pipe. You never want to go a pipe. You'd rather get a BKB. And you'd rather be selfish and get a BKB, but some games it's like, okay, got to get a pipe and help everyone out. Arcane Boots seems kind of similar. But not even Chen getting it. I mean, at this point, Secret don't need Arcane Boots with their lineup. No mana problems anywhere. Even Trinkles. Trinkles too good. I mean, even like a Magnus. This is a hero you used to see as Arcane Boots as a core item on. It's just treads these days. Yeah, I thought Trinkles were a bit weak, but looking at the amount of Trinkles in this game, it does not look weak. There's, what, four Trinkles, maybe? Your Trinkles, OP. Three? Three. Just three. But, like, I, it, it's this kind of support-only thing, so... Mm. The only support who... Do, I guess Puppy doesn't have Trinkles. Theoretically could get them. Misery, Misery also, yeah. That's a offlane Phoenix, so... I guess Misery 8 has got the money for him. I wonder if C9's like r been really antsy these last five minutes. Like, uh, we don't know where they are. Are they going to come to us at Roshan? What's yeah, our plan? That's, that's the thing. Secret have had all this time to like be like, okay, they've been missing for at least 30 seconds. They can think about Roshan going down right now. Like that's But yeah, if they lose a fight they and they lose Rosh, that's a huge swing. Whereas if they just lose Rosh... Points C9 are committed, it feels like. Yeah, and the risk reward is just, I don't think it's worth it for Secret. Like, they can probably win the game without Roche, but if they go in, they have a huge chance of losing. Yeah. I, it doesn't look like they'll be able to. Yeah. Uh, Mouse Command is will wear off, but. Mm, yeah, it's not happening. Well, yeah. looks like game will be resumed shortly, guys. Game two of Secret versus Cloud9 in this finals for the Europe region of Red Bull Battlegrounds. G's come out. All right, let's get things underway. They're going for Roshan. We can see they only spotted the Bane in mid lane, but he's headed up top, yep, so... They're, they're leaving. Nope. Yep. They're ditching. So... Yes. It, it, I agree, like, the, whatever. Slambrick is Aegis still doesn't hit that hard. As long as is able to survive, which he probably should be with the newly acquired BKB. He was able to survive before, so if he has... BKB, he has an AC Aura, he has a Granite Golem, a Mech, and a Chen Heal. You're pretty much doubling his yep. current HP. They got the Granite Golem oh, yet. Oh, that is really lucky. That oh, they there we go. That. Yep. <laughs> Just respond as I say that. Yep. Here we go. Triple Wild Wing. I'm not sure how this is. This is necessarily the ideal creep arrangement at this stage, but I think anything with a Granite Golem yeah. is an ideal creep arrangement. Put some Ice Armor in there, maybe, but. The ice armor is probably one of those Does better he need ice armor? Creeps. He probably has ridiculous amounts of armor. Oh, but it's like more. Why not add more armor as well as the slow? Tornadoes, dude. Yep. Three tornadoes. No tail pushing forward. This is where it's secret. Still no gem coming into play just yet. Yeah, the heroes that you want to focus on just have incredible amounts of armor. Twenty-three on Queen of Pain mm -hmm. and fifteen on Phantom Assassin without the AC. So twenty armor on her. Yeah. Oh, and then the Wild Wing armor. The armor. Think of the armor. Okay, so Zai taking damage here. Shrapnel as well as Assassinate's kind of locking in place. Dive forward from Phoenix. Yeah, he has BKB though. Yep. They could just send him home. Oh, they back. Puppy gets caught out. He's tracked out. They're going to supernova defensively. Mm, not going to go for it. Enfeeble comes into oh, play. Oh, the Sange proc. Oh, Zai on the run. The track giving vision. Everybody tracked up at this point. Not really a good fight for Secret to be taking because of that. But Arteezy going to BKB and look to turn things around without a supernova. This could be the death of Bone7 on Phoenix. And he'll get taken out by that Chen. Face on. 
S4 blinks forward. BKB still active for the time being, and Misery slowed down. One or two more right clicks will finish him off. He's getting bubbled back up, and S4 hits so oh, hard. Oh, the blink scream. S4, brave plays as he blinks to the high ground. He'll be sent back home, and I think off of that, Secret just wow. back off and farm the lane. Secret's so tanky. Like, they tried to kill Puppy, didn't work. They tried to kill Zai, didn't work. And then they tried to kill Arteezy, he bought BKB, and they're just no good kill target. And generally, you view a Chen as, like, super easy to kill. But with all this armor from all the auras, the plus eight, as well as the mech and the Chen heal and the Grain and Gold aura, everyone's just impossible to disperse. And that's really what you rely on with heroes like Skyrath and Bounty Hunter. And Cloud9 also just with a lineup without that much burst at this point. The Skyrath Mage, maybe the, the, with the Mystic Flare, one of their better heroes, but none of their cores really have great burst damage. Sniper, decent right click damage with the MKB, but he got hit by an Enfeeble as well fairly early on. Doesn't take away all his damage, but even minus 120 is a big, big deal to have to deal with. Especially for the Jilly heroes. Yeah. Like, I, I clicked him, I'm like, oh, he still has plus 60 damage, but that should have been plus 180. Yeah, I think versus a sniper, or versus a Bane, you might actually have to vary your build and just go a damage build instead of a tech speed build. But, I mean, no one expected the Enfeeble to actually matter in this matchup, right? <laughs> that blade That's something that hides running in. Yeah. yeah, I know. What do we do? Oh God. <laughs> just panic. <laughs> he actually was just like BKB in the middle there and throwing out Enfeebles and Nightmares and... He could have gotten like a Manta Scotty. I think that might have been, like, it's not that much damage, but if he gets Manta, then he might not be able to Enfeeble. And then if he gets Scotty, he can also kite yeah. the BKBs reliably instead of having to rely on a Singe proc. Rubik now with that Blink Dagger as Kuro is ready to go, already stealing up. He wants this game, and we'll see what more he can do. The Kuro Rubik, always Ooh. fun to watch. BKB on Phoenix. So that is really important, considering they have no slice of vice, and they have to... I mean, he's really squishy though. 1400 HP, 6 armor. If he gets crit by the PA, he has to be really yeah. quick on that supernova button. Well, the other scary thing is S4. AC complete is now sitting on 4000 gold, ready to get to work on his next item as well. I'd say Scythe. Yeah. They don't have any I force staves. Absolutely. I mean, he could also go more right click. If he got like a Daedalus, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh, Big Daddy no tell gets too aggressive there going for a track. And S4 immediately just blinks forward with the Orchid. Had decent vision around this area with the Radium Observer so knew that there weren't too many more Dire Heroes in the neighborhood. And Secret are just going to go look to push Icon, it seems. Get that triple wild wing going. They got the granite golem for the bonus HP and Fada, what can you do? Get the big RPs. That's what they need. It seems like the main option here. Tier three tower being tier They've got glyph as well. Look at the triple yeah. tornado. Let's, let's cancel some blinks. Fata gets a bit too close to one and he cannot blink in right now. He's being chased around. Stolen track from Kuro. That's actually a really important spell that's the golem's dying. Puppy. He's gonna Please. Heal. He's got he's got hand of God. He, he's baiting. Hand of God? Okay, never mind. That's that's a big deal. The 15% HP on everybody. Misplaced. Time to bounce. Misplaced. No golems. He's ping, he's ping, oh, ping. And it's another golem. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Still, they're not done yet. S4 in a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. Looks like he'll get out okay. Puppy heals up his little wild wings, his trusted birdman. Kiro's like, oh, here you go, golems. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure C9 are looking at him with track and be like, what, really? <laughs> Track has got to be one of like the best spells Kuro can steal outside of like a team fight where he wants an RP or Supernova. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steal Supernova like, to kind of lead into the team fight. This is the ideal spell to have, and then you're looking out for that RP still like in the mid fight or a super <laughs> Supernova if <laughs> for whatever freak reason you can get your hands on it, which seems like it should never happen. But this is it helps set things up so well in a team fight. You mentioned Envy going for a damage build. He's doing just that. He's picked up a Crystallis going. More of a glass cannon build, but without a BKB, life is going to get very difficult this game. Yeah. Not to say he shouldn't do this build, but he's going to have to be very careful with his position. He's going to crit for like 200. With him, people. A little bit more. Okay, and I think Arteezy has got a completed Skadi. Yep, Korea's going out, and that's going to give him just more HP, more armor, m better ability to fight the sniper if he ever blinks it onto him. This is a big problem for Cloud9 because now PA can just stick on the sniper and then what, what are they going to do? He can't run away. He doesn't have BKB. If he has Mask of Madness on, he might die in a crit or two. Mm -hmm. Caught out no-tail here. 
Brain try to bring him down. Couple more clicks. It's the Bane with a brain sap. Is that a gem on Puppy? Yeah, you betcha. Top lane meanwhile. S4 going in on his own. Trying to just 1v5. Doesn't get the kill on Envy. Blinks out of there just barely. Shockwave not enough. Great mech saves and Puppy with the clutch Chen plays. S4 tries to blink in for a kill. It's farter to the side. Fiend's Grip, Nightmare both available and Zai. Gonna get the kill on Magnus. Meanwhile, Sniper got chased down by Rubik. Kuro with the track vision. Keeps up with Bone 7 and oh my gosh, S4 somehow goes into a 1v3 fight, comes out alive, gets saved by Chen and Rubik. That's such a smart build from him, getting Ooh. mass armor. If he expects an RP, he BKBs and he doesn't die to the sniper who went mass physical damage. And that's just incredible, a quad being this relevant 42 minutes in. He got sent back to base, buys boots to travel as well, so he's here for the push now. The ACR is there, the rack's gonna fall fairly fast because of this. Zai BKB Fiend's Grip, who's he going on? It's the sniper. Magnus has no RP available, Skewer not going to hit, and that's a dead sniper. No chance for C9 to defend without the sniper, it feels like. Fartus next in line, the Supernova Ekdun doing decent damage. Rubik only sealing off the dive, Arteezy's BKB wearing off, but Mag dead. Dive through the fountain, Kuro just trying to keep everybody at bay. And Secret, I think, realizing, okay, we're going to back off now. Zai, his Blade Mail on cooldown, not going to do too much more. Bane going to actually buy back and look to seal the deal here. Top Brax has been claimed. Arteezy turns around, fights onto the Skywrath Mage. S4 on the front lines as well. Tornadoes everywhere. The tornado vision is highly underrated. Oh and boy. keeping it off our I mean, the track vision as well. I guess most of those tracks wearing off now with Kuro not having it anymore, but he wants to steal it once more. If he sees this bounty, he's going to try to grab it. But Looks like Cloud uh, Secret well underway to take an undefeated sweep of the Europe region. They have. Every game from them has been pretty decisive. This has been the closest game for Secret yet, but their mid to late game, it just looks like they've been completely outplaying Cloud9. Yeah, their, their team fight and execution is... Oh, it's really nice yep. to watch. And with all these heroes dead and their buybacks on cooldown, Boots will travel for your PA. Not an item he was probably expecting to buy as his next item, but there's an opportunity now. 10 seconds on Sniper, 24 seconds on Magnus. Second lane of racks to be claimed. Secret getting closer and closer to sealing the deal here. Bottom lane unable to be taken with a tier 2 tower up. They're pinging the tier 4 towers here. They do have to worry about a Magnus RP, but very tanky on a lot of these heroes, and they will now finally decide to back off. But with a two lane advantage, this game gets very, very difficult for Cloud9 to win. Yeah, still not giving up yet. Still could turn it around with a big RP coming out from Magnus. But Fada has been coming up short due to the excellent control from S4 and Kuro. Well, Zai maybe in over his head has a defensive nightmare. BKB available. He's trying to buy time and space. Doesn't BKB instead goes for the blade mail. Now going to turn and fight onto Misery. Ugo Scepter's up, Sonic Wave on the side, PA gets one kill on the Sniper, Misery gonna burn down. Meanwhile, Arteezy, during his BKB, wants to chase for more Fiend's Grip on Farta. Farta's dead, as is the Sniper, GG! Secret have won the European group stage for the Red Bull Battlegrounds Dota 2, and Cloud9, true to their name, have finished second, second place. <laughs> Some excellent Dota here today, and I am usually impressed with Secret, and today is no different. Some yep. Unusual drafts off 